So with the light box in place, now it's time to handle a very critical part which is actually deleting a gallery. What I would like to do is when a gallery is deleted, if you see my database, there is an entry in the gallery table. Now the IDs are 24, 25. Then there is the image table where I have the relational images so I have 24 and 25 and of course when I go inside public gallery images I have all the images uploaded here now ideally what should happen is let's keep our focus on this folder when I delete any gallery it should delete the entry from the gallery table the images table and physically delete these images as well so first thing will be to create a route through which we will be deleting the image sorry the gallery so this will be a get URL I'll say delete slash so this is gallery right so it's a gallery slash delete and then I'll pass the ID gallery controller and inside that I'll say delete gallery this is the name of the map function gallery controller right inside this I'm passing the ID so so I'll get it in the parameters now one thing which I will do is first load the gallery so say current gallery equals gallery find or fail dollar ID now as an additional check what I will say is if current gallery created underscore by equals auth user ID and if it is not the case I'll abort the app pass 403 and say you are not allowed to delete this gallery which means if I have not created the gallery then obviously I cannot delete it the reason I'm doing it is I'm passing the ID very clearly in the URL so the security level is a little low so at least I need to check whether the gallery is created by that particular user or not all right so with the checking in place now I'll say images equals I'm already loading the gallery right so it will be current gallery images yeah I will kind of loop this for each this as key value just indent it a bit I don't need key value I'll say dollar image to make things simple and yeah so yeah just unlink public path which will give me the installation of Laravel's public path and then it will be file underscore path right that's what we are storing in our table let me quickly confirm that yes it's file underscore path so the public path will give me something like you know in my case volume data projects image dash gallery and then the gallery slash image image name so the file is deleted as well now what I can quickly do is first say images 
delete this will delete all the records from the image table and then current gallery delete right and then we take back the user where he came from so summarizing load the gallery check ownership get the images delete the images delete the DB records and then finally I'm going to direct again back I need to have a link on this page practically so where is my view this is the view and say why not duplicate it delete this will be again delete and let me check yeah let's keep one thing in between which is the slash oh it's a td is it so I'll add this cut delete this line and paste it here that should do right so I have two galleries there are quite a few images now let me quickly delete them okay I think I know the problem it's basically there's a double co double dollar sign and also when I'm doing images this is the correct syntax and I think I don't need this images at all let me first check it so I'll go back I'll say delete and on which line number it's 102 so for now what I can do is I'll say this delete now it's time to create one more gallery gallery by Amitav upload three images go back and now if I'm let's keep it that way first let's remember the ID so I have 27 26 now I log out log in as John so now let's quickly check the conditions which we are using while creating and deleting the galleries so first thing is I realized that there is a small problem I was previously doing something like this and we need to change that it should be if the current gallery created by is not equal to the current logged in users ID then we throw this error and also while we were creating the galleries I had hard coded the user ID which now it's time to change it right so the validations are running and when I do the created by it's by the current logged in user so I already have a gallery by Amitav let's delete it okay it got deleted I'll say gallery by Amitav again okay there are zero images so that's okay for now inside the database I'll go to gallery and I can confirm that it's created by one I log out and then I log in through the second user and say gallery by Shoto. now if I check the database it's by user 2 and so obviously this will give me the error you are not allowed to delete this gallery 
but if I want to delete this, it does delete it. O obviously, I can change the query as well so that I can see only my galleries, which will mean if I come down to this, I'll say where created by is auth user id get right okay so this user doesn't have anything and obviously when i log in through this it this user has three images i can delete it right so yeah the delete is working now let us validate whether the images are getting deleted or not so gallery Mehmeta once more I'll just save it then go here upload images let me check how many images were there let okay so this is my folder inside the public folder so I'll what I'll do is just clean it up first okay open this is working quickly check if my delete is correctly working or not which is the check for each yes go back and say delete and yes I don't have any images right and inside the gallery it was 33 and if I create one more it is 35 so 34 was created and got deleted and if I add images again inside the image table as well I'll find the last image is 35 but the 34 is missing which means that record was also deleted so that's about it that's about implementing lightbox as well as writing the script to delete the gallery the related images and the actual file from the server as well